So XBRAT. Uh, XBRAT Algo is a combination. Now, obviously, there's, there's three main strategies that I developed for trade to fit strategies that I've used all the time. But there's other things that I that I use within those strategies as um, decision points, points of control uh, that that's, you know that, that wasn't included in those uh, original ones. So what I've tried to do is learn from the questions that people have asked me. What I decided to do was, uh, you know, the roller coaster was pretty good and some of those win rates were 86%, um, but it was still giving slightly false signals. So I had to go back to drawing board. What have I done in the past? What's my decision, my thought process? So if, for example, the roller coaster only used six points of control. A six star buy here on Twilio has 12 points of control and there's nothing else on your chart. It works it all out as an algorithm before and prints that signal, the six star buy. One of the things I did learn uh, early on with Elliott Wave, for example, is that uh, there's a lot of questions that come back. You know, where do I isolate this? What's that? Um, you know, what's the yellow dots on the top of the stochastic? What's all that for? What? So if I can get rid of all of that and just put a six star buy on there, okay? And all you need to know is where's the next port resistance zone? Um, there's a lot less for you to do, <laughs> okay? Uh, and you get some really great trades. So this is an example of um, stocks. This is four hour on Twilio. Uh, this is a trade where I'm in with the inner circle already. It's making new highs. We've got a six star buy here. Entries at 250.24. We tipped 160% profit times risk. So your risk $10,000 is worth $16,000 right now. Okay. Uh, a couple more. Etsy is another one. Etsy Betsy. Okay. Uh, again, this is another one that we got a six star buy for here. Went in above this pivot, 121.73. Got through a couple of uh, resistance zones reasonably well. We've locked in good profit here. This is over 100% profit times risk. So $10,000 risk, $10,000 reward. Um, so this is, this is stocks. Uh, for those futures traders, let's go through to this particular one. So in fact, let's look at copper first. We trade quite a lot of copper, gold, and everything else. So this is a three minute time frame. okay? We've got a, a short-term support zone on copper right now. Uh, so, you know, we, we are looking for uh, the shorts into that or longs away from that. And uh, today we had a nice four-star print short, six-star print short, goes down into support zone, find support, comes back up. There is a six-star long here, okay? Six-star long, candle closes. You're probably going to go in just above this pivot here as a conservative entry, okay? This is worth thousands of dollars, okay? This this entry here is at 30275. The highs we've got here are 30465. Every tick is $12.50. This is a big move, okay? Uh, and this is just, uh, it's just typical. Uh, when we go to the 15 minute, for example, look at this move here, okay? Huge. We don't pick up the long, short time frame picked up the long there. We pick up longs here, five, six star longs, six, five, six star longs, really. I mean, it's every day. Okay, uh, we look at platinum. I think platinum's done pretty well for us just recently. Uh, we look at the 15 minute here. Again, you need your support and resistance zones, guys. Okay, uh, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not rocket science. This is the XBRAT algo. Okay, um, this is my new algorithm for TradingView. It's brand new, it's only just launched. Uh, do you like the logo? Pretty cool. That's me as a robot. With Expert Algo, for stocks, you don't use Heiken Ashi. For futures and Forex, you use Heiken Ashi. Trading view now, Ninja Trader is next. I don't know what will be after that because TOS, it could be gone next year. I don't know whether the, the development time and money is worth spending on TOS right now. For me at the moment, I mean, I put 250 man hours into back testing this thing, okay? Uh, with a lot, a lot of hours into, in, with the developer developing it. Uh, so we know, I know it works. I'm very confident. I've been trading it now two weeks side with the inner circle on futures. Uh, more on longer on stocks. We've not had a losing day on futures so far in the last two weeks since we started using this. So um, it's about making sure you've got a, a decent risk to reward. So let's go through this example here. Okay. Whenever you get a pivot, you're going to put your stop under the pivot. The indicator does three, four and five and six star. Uh, at this point, we got a four star buy here. Okay. So if you wanted to be aggressive after this candle closes, just above the candle, that would be your entry. Okay. And that's just, this is, you know, hypothetic because you know, I do this every day. Uh, some, some I take, some I don't. But then you need a good risk reward. So my stop's below the pivot. My entry's here. My risk reward to the next support and resistance zone is one to two. Okay. The success ratio over um, on future products with this 
I haven't had a losing day in two weeks since I've been using it live uh, within a circle. Um, you know, the win rate on the roller coaster is anything between 74 and 86%. This one's in the 90s. Um, it, it gets rid of those roller coaster trades, for example, that didn't work before. Uh, the only thing you've got to do is make sure you've got enough fresh air, okay? Uh, you can get live data for TradingView without connecting to a broker. It costs me for futures and stocks 12 bucks a month. Yeah, there's more points of control with this and it takes into consideration other things other than the, uh, the stochastic MACD cross. So this is basically how my brain thinks, okay? Uh, Ishan, we are developing it for NT8. It's starting tomorrow, so watch this space. So really, um, the win rate for, for four star, five star, six star, to be honest, they're, they're pretty similar. A lot of the time, we don't even, it doesn't even print. It just prints a six star. It doesn't really print a four or five star, okay? Uh, so, you know, we, we get into a situation where we, a lot of the time we're just printing six stars or five stars. You know, the thing is, you've got to look left. Where's the pivot points? Uh, where am I going to go long? Okay, so with this four star here, got a three star or four star, but look, look where the candle closes on that four star here. Look where the last pivot point is, okay? It doesn't take the brains of an archbishop to understand that that risk to reward is crap. You're not going to go on the long, okay? You're going to go the short here. You're going to go the short here as well. Boom, 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 boom. Good, good. But when we get a three and a four star buy, it's a little pullback. We've got no, the, the support resistance zone is really, really important. So here, even if you'd gone after the six star, your risk rewards about one to one. Uh, so, you know, it's not bad. How to manage that? Okay, at this moment in time, you haven't got the EMA cloud. But when you get the EMA cloud for the um, for trading view with the add-on club, guess what? I've got it. I've got a temporary version right now. Okay, I can put that on. Oh, I can use the 34 EMA for my trading stop as well. Okay, so the, the thing is, uh, you know, we are developing it. It will be coming soon, but you've just got to be patient. We, I, I, you know, it's just not all there. In, instead, just put 34 EMA um, on there uh, to begin with. But this indicator will it performs better with high Kanashi on futures and forex. It does normal candlestick patterns on stocks, and that's part of uh, why we are discussing this today. So when I showed you those stocks trades earlier, these are not high Kanashi candles, okay? Stock mark, the stocks have an open, a close, a high, and a low. Futures and Forex contracts are 24 hours. High Kanashi candles are averaging candles, so we can use and we can leverage that averaging um, facility with high Kanashi to get some really great looking trades, okay? Some really high probability trades. You know, the way, the way, we, you know, the way we grade them is, you know, nine points of control for, a, uh, for the three, 10, 11, 12, it all moves up there, okay? So we, um, <clears throat> with stocks though, because it's not a 24 hour product, we've got a high and a low, you use normal candles or bars, okay? And I've trialed this, I mean, Etsy's one, Twilio's another one, okay? There's a six star buy. I can't remember what AMD was. Yeah, AMD was a six star buy as well, okay? Um, so we, you, there's a lot of trades I'm doing right now, okay, that are BMY, for example. We entered that one today. It was a six star buy yesterday. Boom, we're in, okay? But that's a normal candle. When we're talking about futures, it's high Kanashi. So one thing that TOS don't have is high Kanashi candles. Another reason why we're not going to develop for TOS, because high Kanashi for futures and forex trading is really, really cool. Okay, uh, so let's look for some other examples on uh, in currencies. So currencies have been pretty flat just lately, to be honest. Uh, so we may go and have a look at something else, but uh, you know we can have a look. Okay, so nice short in today. Find support. We get the six star long. Six star short down here, uh, five star by long. You see, it's not, not printed any four stars, okay, on those uh, indexes. I just want to go and have a look on the um, RTY, for example. Uh, did we? Uh, again, it's finding the right time frame. I, to be honest, I know it works. I just don't trade indexes just recently because I'm making enough on metals. Uh, but again, same here. Look, we didn't print a three, a four, or a five star buy. We printed a six star buy, and then it goes. Uh, it'll be the same for ES as well. We go to five minute on the ES. Um, let's just scrunch up a little bit there. Okay, we have not had many signals on the five minutes uh, today. On previous days, we've had six star buy, six star buy winner, six star short winner, uh, you know, six star short winner there, five and six star short, six star buy. I could go on, guys, really. Um, it is, it's, you know, it's really, really good. Um, it's very, very simple to use. 
Uh, again, with this six star buy here, um, you know, this is just around the, the stock market open. This is a stock market open that gives you the six star buy. You gotta be careful around the opens. That's all, that's all you gotta do. Look at this six star short there. Uh, let's have a look at silver. Let's show silver, okay? Uh, this is silver today. Uh, this is the trade. We like to trade silver pre-market. Uh, just as it pushes through this little resistance zone, this is the silver move. This was worth a lot of ticks, okay? Didn't catch that arch short on the, uh, on the three minute, but then when we pulled back, we fell short of this uh, recent support zone. We got the five and the six, six star shorts here. So a couple of options when you're trading these futures with this um, algorithm. Always, you know, conservative stock is above the recent pivot, okay? For me, if I'm going aggressive, I might look at the recent pivot just before, before the signals. So for me, you know, this was a major pivot here, okay? But really aggressive, reducing the risk, this one. Five, then six star short. Where's my entry gonna be? It's gonna be below all of this rubbish here, yeah? Uh, sensible, okay? There's my entry, there's my stop. Because when you get a five or a six star buy or long, the momentum really start is gathering. You know, this is, this is going. So you look at that, risk to reward, okay? Where's the recent, the recent support level is down here from today, okay? Where's that? That risk to reward is one to 1.6. That's a good trade, okay? Really, really great trade. So 23,960 down into this support zone here, 23,830. How many ticks is that? $25 a tick, that's over 100 ticks. If you're trading silver uh, micros, it's $5 a tick, okay? Still a good little payday. So that's silver on the five minute, silver on the 15 minute. We've got some big support and resistance zones. So let's go back in time a little bit, just a little bit, okay? When we are really testing this uh, resistance zone here, it's not pushing through, okay? Six star sell, six star sell. This really has to be your entry for that, okay? I've only just put this on recently. But you get a six star style here, stop is above the, where that massive resistance is. Watch your risk to reward. One to 1.6 to the next major support zone, okay? Boom, yeah, bang. That's a $5,000 trade there, okay? I, I, again, I've been trading nearly 20 years now. What I've managed to do is find a geek that can actually put my thought process into this algorithm. So it's not just a roller coaster, it's not just Elliott Wave, it's all the other things that I look at to grade the trade as well. So it won't even print a three star until you've got around about nine decision points, all, all a good go. Six star, you've got a hell of a lot, you've got 12 decision points in there um, and we, we go, you know? But again, be sensible. We've had six star sell here. That was the low of that six star cell candle on the five minute. It just keeps testing that resistance. So you've got to say to yourself, if I get another cell signal, I can't go short until I'm below this rejection point. Okay. That's, we get another signal. That's my uh, entry. That's my stop risk reward down to the major next major. And you know, this, this made a lot of money. Okay. Uh, we get a six star buy here. Okay. It's not bad. It's coming out. We've got some resistance here, but if we go really tight, Against this pivot, recent pivot point here, we get the six star buy on this candle, just above this pivot here, okay? We've got a one-to-one -to, -one to that very short-term resistance zone there, okay? So for me, that's good enough if I'm day trading. I'll go long because that's a lot of ticks, to be honest. Uh, and you, you can literally ride it with a trailing stop and, and, and you know, be good all day. Uh, so that's silver, okay? Okay, so we were gonna look at uh, oil, were we not? I haven't got my support resistance zone on here, guys, because I'm not trading oil at the moment. But five, six star longs, okay? Let's go through the thought process. I don't know where the support resistance zones are, but let's just go through the thought process. We've got a stop loss here. We've got a five, six star buy here. So we're going to go, uh, there's the five star candle closed there. We're going to go above these wicks here. That's where we're going to go long. If that risk reward is no good, you're not going to do it. However, look at the behavior here. We come back, we test that original entry as support, okay? This is not freaky stuff. This is trading, okay? You need to recognize these patterns. Then we get a six star buy again. So where am I gonna go long? I'm gonna go long above all of this noise here. And that's my long position. It doesn't actually trigger until this point, but then look, 
Mo look at that. I mean, this is 40.10 to 41.29, okay? It's about understanding behavior. So we have um, oil there. So let's have a look at natural gas. This outperforms on the three minutes, shall we? Okay. So we've got US stock market open around about here. We get a six star buy on this candle. Well, a bad trade really. Six star buy on this candle here. So your stop is gonna be on this rejection candle pivot there. Okay, so that's your stop. I haven't got support resistance on zones on because I don't trade this very often to be honest. That's your six star. Oh, you've got to go above that pivot. There you go. There's your risk to reward. And then your question you've got to ask yourself, is that risk to reward good enough for my trade? Okay. It's gone up. It's made 100% profit times risk. It comes back down most likely. And to be honest, I would have been risk free way before then. And I would have got the profit taken out here as well, most likely. Uh, we get a six, six, five and six star short. Again, I don't know where the support and resistance zones are. So I'm not going to really comment on if that was a good looking trade or not. Um, but that's, that's, you know, that's where we are. Uh, on natural gas, does it look better on the 15? You know, some of these look really good on a, on a larger time frame as well. Oh, wow. Okay. So I would say natural gas on a 15 minute time frame is the way to go uh, using this algorithm. This is pretty hot snot, really. Okay. I would say this is a big support zone here. Absolutely. Okay. We've got a lot of support there comes back down to test, test to test. You're not going to take the shorts into support. We get a six star buy. We get a six star buy in this candle here. We're going to go above the recent pivot here. That's our entry. Our stop is just below here. Okay. Risk to reward. That's a mega trade. That is on the 15 minute natural gas. See, I've got some support and resistance here. Let me just go left a little bit, just to make sure I'm not uh, pulling the wool. That is really good support and resistance there. And obviously we've got some up above there as well, uh, around about here. Okay, so risk to reward for this trade. There's a short term uh, pivot here as well. I mean, it's around about the same thing, but risk to reward, on this trade, even to these recent pivots here, is one to two. Great trade, yeah? 15 minute time frame on natural gas really looks hot here. When you back test this, you need to back test it yourself, okay? Uh, I don't believe in software back testing. That's why I've done 250 hours back testing on this, okay? Because you need, you're trading certain products on certain time frames. Is it going to work on those time frames for you? I would say yes, even if it's a range bound. Uh, you know, this is, you know, this is um, natural gas on the five minute. Uh, you know, if we, get, if we went down on the one minute, for example, within that range, there's going to be trades, okay? Because it meets certain criteria on those trades. Yep, there's a short on the one minute. There's a five and a six star there, it's printed, okay? So it depends on the time frame you want to trade. I mean, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, if you're a scalper, <laughs> okay? So this, to be honest, on a normal time frame, on a 15 minute, <clears throat> That area is a range, okay? Look at this on the 15 minute here, the short. But if it's in a range during this time here, you look at it on a one or a two minute time frame in that range, okay? So let's find that range, wherever it is. Okay, were there any trades? Oh, look, two minute. Come down to test the bottom of the range. Six star buy on the two minute, okay? You'd have got in earlier than the other time frame. Yeah, six star buy, boom. Yeah, that's in the range. What does that range look like in the one minute time frame? I wonder. I wonder. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So again, coming to test the top of the range, six, six star style, six star style comes down to the bottom of the range. Six star buy on the one minute from the bottom of the range comes back out and punches through the range. Okay. So it doesn't matter which time frame you use. You've got to be. You've got to feel more confident with that particular. Uh, this product. So, you know, I back tested it. Uh, this works. Uh, I'm sure uh, a lot of guys will will buy this and back test it using the, um, the trading view. And then again, when we do on um, Ninja Trader. Uh, so we've done futures, we've done stocks. Let's have a look at does anybody trade Forex pairs here? This is a trade. Of, this is a trade I did yesterday morning. 
that's why I ask. <laughs> so this is uh, GDP Japanese yen on the uh, 15 minute time frame. <clears throat> so I get up about seven o'clock in the mornings. Um, you know, this at, at 6.45, this being the four star by seven o'clock, 7.15, 7.30, you know, I'm, I'm already up on the computer. Do you know what? This is a good base here. It's pulling away. We've got a, we've got a higher support level there. I'm going to take the four star entry. That was the entry. I actually posted about this as well. Uh, and then during the trade, we've got a six star buy. You see how the momentum really gathers and then pushes up to the support and resistance zone. Okay. Risk reward one to 1.6. Big move. Yes, you do you have to draw your own support resistance zones. Okay. Um, but I will be posting some videos uh, on um, our Discord groups, which I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. I'm going to be posting videos on how to do that. Okay. I actually posted one today. These lines here are FIB related. This is how I manage my risk to reward. So let me measure that. I'm going to use a FIB extension. I've decided on my stop and my entry. I've got a four star buy here. I want to go long above the four star buy. Okay. So I use the FIB extension tool, which is three clicks. Click once on the stop, click the second time on the entry, move it along the entry, and click the third time on the same price in the entry. That then gives you a risk to reward. So you're risking one whole one, that's one whole one reward, 1.6, one to two. So that's a one to two risk to reward. 